Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to Celebrating Act 2, another episode with an exciting new guest that John and I will be speaking to shortly. Uh, we love our exciting new guest, don't we, Art? Mm. <laughs> but this is not a new guest for you. This is an old friend of yours. Her name is Nancy Gibbs, and she's a podcaster, which I just learned since you knew her for a long time. But she's a podcaster who's doing kind of what we're doing, talking to the same people about living the best life you can in your, God, I don't I hate, I hate to say older life, but... When you're over 50, you know, your second act. Well, before, before we formally introduce Nancy Lang Gibbs, a friend of long standing. Yes, uh, that's yes. Uh, yeah, yes, she is, and uh, she's fascinating. But we're here to talk about uh, a specific project of hers called Loving Later Life, about women in their 50s, 60s, and beyond and how to get the most out of it, because life is certainly not over for them, as it isn't over for most of our audience. So without right. further ado, Nancy Lyon Gibbs, how are you? Hello there, gentlemen. I am very wonderful. It's good to see you. Nancy, it's a pleasure to meet you. I've heard your podcast. I think they're wonderful. Thank you. And um, first of all, I have to ask, can I just call you Nancy? Do I have to do Nancy Lyon Gibbs? Please, Nancy is just wonderful. I've been Thank called so many much. things, so stick with Nancy. That's good. <laughs> and you know what? You have such a welcoming smile. Aww. I can see people would immediately consider you a friend. Oh, keep talking, yeah. John. <laughs> and, and quite frankly, you come across that way on the podcast, too. Even yeah. though it's just audio, you know, it, you, it's a great little show that you do with people. Tell me, now you, you have a bunch of different things that you try to accomplish with Living Later Life podcast. Loving uh, Later Life, yes. You you have experts, you share stories, things like that. Give us an overview of what makes your podcast special for you. Well, good question. This podcast is very special to me. It's It's been a long time coming, although I didn't really know it which I'll, I can go into later. But when I turned a long time ago, right around when I turned 50-ish, yeah. I started feeling like my life was getting smaller. After the divorce and, and getting older, that combo is just whoosh, shrinko. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I also remembered for years that my grandparents once told me that as they got older, they felt that they didn't really have anything to contribute of value to anyone anymore. They felt that nobody really cared to hear what they had to say. Oh. That obviously stuck with me, right? Sure. Uh, so Loving Later Life, it's, it's about having a place for women, 50, 60 plus, to feel heard, to feel valued, to feel seen and connected. Yeah. It's a, I want it to be also a place to laugh and to learn and to grow and to be inspired to live our best later life, not older, later life. Yeah. <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with being older either. Um, <laughs> we, you know, we all share so many fears, so many challenges, so many funny stories. And I'm a firm believer that our stories are so valuable, mm. invaluable, really. And I think the more we can share our stories, the more we will feel less alone and more connected. And that's why I'm on, on different episodes, I'm gonna be sharing my experiences. I'm going to be interviewing experts to get some answers and also brave women, wonderful women telling their compelling stories. And it's just, it's so exciting. I'm already meeting just incredible people that are going to have a huge impact. I just know it. Yeah, there was one episode that you did. You'll have to forgive me because I can't remember her name. But she was uh, a, a writer. She she started later in life, and and became a well published writer. I, what what was her name? Do you remember? C.G. Ware. She's Thank now you. eighty years old. Yeah. She comes yeah. from old Hollywood TV um, news and radio news, and she's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's it's that, that's never a great interview. too late. 
it is never too late to live your best later life, to live your best life. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I love, I love because you're targeting women. You're, you're, you want women to share. And I think that you've hit on something very important for everybody who's over 50, quite frankly, but maybe more so for women. And that's the, I'll call it validation. When you start sharing common stories and common fears and common experiences, you, you're validated. You realize, you're, as you put it, you're not alone. You know, we're all in this together. Um, and I think that's a really important purpose for your podcast. Now, of course, experts are great too, but. Yeah, a a absolutely. And, you know, I, I heard, um, about a study actually today it was kind of ironic that we were doing this now i heard there was a harvard study done of people it was finding out when people were happiest and the study showed that it was not when they were on some fancy trip it was not when they were out to fancy dinners what they said was when they felt connected when they felt a sense of belonging and meaning that is when they were the happiest. Those were the moments they talked about. So I really want to, to have that be a part of the podcast. It's connection, yep. meaning, and belonging. It's yeah. so important. I think it's also, it's also important that, um, um, although I know that uh, uh, you have less than a dozen out there now already, uh, but the, uh, since I know you uh, a long period of time, I know you're funny, and I know that you are self-deprecating, and I know that um, uh, uh, one or two sailors could be embarrassed from time to time because you're <laughs> you're pretty street in in your language sometimes. But it's a very I'm, real. A, what the a, fuck are you talking about, Art? Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but so the important right. thing is that that um, uh, they know that you uh, they're hearing from somebody who's actually lived real experiences and you've gotten knocked down and you've gotten up and you, you know, a couple of times and you have a fascinating story, which well, maybe we'll get to uh, another time. But uh, I, I think that the thing that's really important is that for, particularly for women who are getting older and rather than feeling as if they're now on the way out, you're a perfect example of no pick yourself up and go do and this is the kind of stuff i've been doing this is the kind of stuff other people have been doing so give us a sense of maybe the next couple of uh, episodes the kind of interesting stories that we're going to be talking about can you share some of that with us gee i don't know if i can let the cat out of the bag you oh, have come to on just one or two little kittens oh my goodness okay well i'm going to be talking to a comedian who had a, um, a show on Showtime and she is over 50 and she has gotten, I won't tell you the name right now, but she has gotten a group of women together. They've toured the country and like I said, I've done a Showtime show for women of a certain age. So there's that, I'm gonna be, oh my gosh, a, a, a woman who is an expert on sleep. We all have trouble falling asleep, staying asleep at certain yeah. times and yeah. she is an expert and has a way to help people sleep that does not involve drugs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's, I mean, just, I can't even, now you caught me. You, you know, Nancy, um, I, I don't, this may sound a little out of left field, but what came to mind was my mother years and many years ago saying, play with kids your own age, you know? And I'm thinking, it just came to me that that's what you're doing. You're, you're bringing your audience, kids their own age. We, we're, we're getting, and that's what we're doing on Celebrating Act Two. We're bringing people together who are of a certain age, over 50 or whatever, but adult, mature, senior citizens, whatever I you want. I not go that far, but sure. Mm, no. <laughs> I, I know, that's it's I, <laughs> Bringing well, us together, because we have common experiences, common needs, common questions, right? Yep, yep. Um, yep. That's really, really important, I think. A absolutely, and you know, really, this is, um, they say necessity is the mother of invention, 
I think part of the reason why I did this is because I wanted to find friends too. And I wanted to find people, you know, not only sharing my voice, but finding and finding others to, to gather around. I knew that if I, I couldn't have been the only woman experiencing all these things in life, right. and wouldn't it be nice to share it with others? Sure. Not as a, as a kvetch set, sesh, right? But just as a way to, to share and laugh and learn. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Well, I, have a, I have a quick community. question for you no before, we, yes. before we go on. Uh, yes. Where can people find out more about uh, the podcast and find links to that and also to some other really interesting things that you that you offer. So can you give us some uh, uh, places to look on the internet? Absolutely. Are you ready? Get your pens. Yes, um, yes. So here's two URLs for you, websites, nancylanggibbs.com, N-A-N-C-Y-L-A-N-G-G-I-B-B-S.com and lovinglaterlife.com. Both will take you to the website, one more specifically to the podcast, the other to the website. I've got, um, I'm a certified life coach also, and I'm, and I'm focusing on pe women in later life. So there's information on that there. There's a show notes page that shows all the episodes that have already dropped. And you can click on each episode and read a summary of what it is and what the takeaways were and see if you're interested in listening to that episode. They're all really good, though, so you should listen to all of them. Yeah, I was um, going to say. Right? Listening to. So, yeah, so those are the two websites. Also, and on that website, you can find where to follow me on Facebook and where to follow me on Instagram right. as well. So it's yeah. all there. And so, some funny stuff I've written, too, about me that you wouldn't know. Okay. <laughs> I, I want to know what made you do this podcast because you haven't been doing it that long. No, in fact. But what did you do up until that point and why did you do the podcast? <laughs> How much time do you have? <laughs> okay. So I was born in, no, I'm just kidding. So, so as I said, I think it, 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 it ultimately started with feeling like my world was getting smaller and that whole thing. But looking back at the dots that connect me here was Steve Jobs, I said, you can, the, Steve Jobs, I think that said, you can look back and connect the dots, but you can't look forward. So looking back and connecting the dots, you know, I grew up from the age of five singing and acting. So that has always been a common through weave in the, of the threads of my blanket, always singing, acting, performing in some way. And, and this is just going to prove to everybody that no matter what you've been through, even if it seems unimportant or sometimes we say, oh, that was a waste of time. That relationship was a total waste of my time. That career, that job. No, it's not. Because everything we do becomes a part of who we are and will contribute to what we're going to do in some way or another. We just don't know it yet. Yeah. So looking back, right? I can see, so I, my proudest accomplishment are my two children. They are now not children. They are adult humans and they are amazing. Um, so that's my proudest accomplishment. Um, after I got divorced, um, I started dating and had to start working. I was, I was able to be a stay at home mom. So 18 years out of the workforce, then I had to quickly ramp up and make a living Go, Nancy. So that was scary, right? Um, sure. So I got various jobs in sales and event planning, um, sales in the hospitality industry. Um, but then I started writing because this, these dating adventures, I had to write about it. Yeah. Um, because I wasn't acting or singing anymore, at least for a little while, I had to put that to the back burner in order to pay the mortgage and stuff. Uh, I started writing. And I also wrote, co-wrote a musical sketch comedy um, that, that we performed in Hollywood. So that's a whole other story, but a lot of different adventures along the way, um, including, so I got the house in the divorce. I talk about this on my first episode. And then I lost the house that I got to, from the divorce. Wow. And at around 50 something, I got to move in with my mother and my son. My daughter was already off of college. That was very humbling and um, 
but turned out to be a great experience for me, right? Then I bought my own place. I started writing and my, my, my dating adventures and my life lessons were published in Huffington Post, the Orange County Register and other online magazines. So that was thrilling. So my creative outlet was, was flowing. And then um, I got involved in a relationship and almost was leading towards marriage until I really discovered that this person was an emotional abuser. Oh. So my life took a 180 yeah. and I'm almost 60 at this point. And I decided my kids were living in New York at the time. And there's a great story that I we don't have time for now that I'll tell you sometime maybe that that got me to the point where I was decided to move to New York, but I moved to Manhattan by myself just before I turned 60. And five months later, enter stage left, COVID. Ah. <laughs> then I'm in my one bedroom apartment for four months, didn't see my kids, didn't see anybody. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then I was fortunate enough to get some work in Northern California where I am now. And all of that time, when I was in New York, my kids got me a microphone, a podcast mic, because I, they knew I had been talking about it. I'd been ruminating over it. It only took me two years, but here I am. Who's counting? Yeah. And now, I, at, I, at what point, Nancy, at what point did you um, become a life coach? That wasn't, that, that was after that was the divorce. And... Right after the divorce. Yeah. 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 Right after the divorce. When I was in my 20s, I wanted to be a therapist. And I didn't do it. So this was the next best thing to be in there. It's different. Well, but... you just proved your, your own theory that it, it, everything you want, everything you do, somewhere is going to benefit you in later life. And that's, and right. that's, that's, that's right. why you became a life coach. And, you know, we have to trust the process. We just have to. And so often when something happens that seems terrible, and often it is in the moment, I'm not minimalizing sure. it. And to remember that I like to look at, okay, this is happening. Why is this happening? I'm going to see some benefit out of this at some point down the line. I am counting on that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, so, I think that, I think what the, the, we've accomplished already, what we want to accomplish is having somebody who is with an on demographic, 50 and over, and particularly doing a, an yeah. act two something new, and that uh, our audience, and not just the women, because both John and I have listened to the podcast, they're really interesting. This, this, this uh, yeah. woman you had on the other day is really, really fascinating. I mean, it was, it was a long interview. I don't know where, we'll talk about how you find these people, uh, but they're really, really terrific. And our audience is going to be in for a treat. If they go to where, where can, can they find out about the podcast? Thank you. Lovinglaterlife.com. And it, I, the podcast is wherever you get your podcasts, Apple, Spotify, Google, you name it. If you're not a podcast savvy person and don't want to deal with these podcast apps, if you go to my website there at nancylanegibbs.com, you can click on the show notes page under podcast. You can actually listen to each episode on its show note page. You can yeah. not only read about it, but press the play bar on that page and listen to it. Yeah. Podcasts are so uh, great in that way. They're so easy. Well, you know uh, what? Yeah. This, has been, this has been a wonderful tease. We could go on because it's, you're, you're fascinating. But I think I want to end it here so that people, we have now a reason to invite you back when Love you it. have another few podcasts under your belt, right. but also to hear about some of your crazy experiences that you've alluded to here. You've just given us a little bit of a tease and people want to come back and hear that as well. So thank you, Nancy. All the best with the podcast and all the things that you're loving in your later life. Thank you so much. I just enjoyed this and thank you for having me. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.